Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of Motorsport Manager. So now at this point in the season we're roughly halfway through and I say that because if we take a look at our calendar we got a nine race calendar and we're here at Munich which is we've run four races and after Munich we'll have four more to go so we're right in the middle of the calendar so that by this point in time we kind of know what our finances are we've seen what they have been uh, after each race and even though we have not gotten any points, which also means we have not gotten any sponsorship uh, bonus money, we're still losing only about 600 grand at worst. And if we come over, you can see about 604,000 at the worst. And if you do a little bit of math, you can see that by the end of the season, that's not going to have us spending a lot of money, and we're going to have a lot of money left over. And this is sort of what I've been planning on because. This is what you need to do in order to create infrastructure in your team and start to build the HQ and really start to build uh, the basis for a future powerhouse where you can really work on your cars and have great cars and then you can go about signing good drivers and so forth. But at this point, I'm ready to go ahead and get started with some of that and we're gonna spend some of this money. Now, if you look at our options for any new buildings we can go with, we can go with a staff center or a forecasting center. Now, we've definitely seen reason for a forecasting center to be very valuable. However, we're not at a point where that really matters to us. I mean, because if we make mistakes right now, we simply don't score points. Um, it's not really that big a deal. We're not in the hunt for a championship or anything like that. So it's not of the utmost importance. So neither one of these are really all that important to us in the long term. What we really need to do is decide whether or not we want to upgrade the design center, the factory, or the scouting facility. We've already built the scouting facility, and for another $5 million, we can unlock another group of drivers. Now, there's no doubt that that is a great idea. However, at this particular point in time, I don't think that's really what we need. What we need right now is to get started in a long-term plan to improve our cars. And that means going either factory or design center. So let's take a quick look at what upgrading our factory would get us. First and foremost, it gets us an additional two parts that we can work on uh, while we're either looking to improve reliability or performance. So that is huge. Okay, that's what the plus 10 part development staff is showing us. We also have four extra part improvement slots. Again, that's what it's showing. It's two for the improvement on performance, two for the improvement of reliability. So then it also unlocks the telemetry center, the test track, brake facility, and then a tour center and the helipad. And then if we come over to the design center, you can see that the tour center and helipad are also over here, 50% each. But then here we can unlock the wind tunnel simulator and handling development center. So for right now, what I really want is the factory because it gives us the additional staff that we need to work on four parts instead of two. And then it unlocks the test track, which is going to be huge later on because let's face it, engines are everything in racing. So uh, even though right now they're a spec part and we don't have to worry about them, long term they're going to be very important. Same thing with brakes and then the telemetry center. So this is really the workhorse of, of the two options. We're gonna need both of them eventually, but right now I feel like the factory is the most important. So we're gonna go ahead and do this one. Now, unfortunately, it takes 20 weeks, which is a good long while. So if we go ahead and do this now, it should have it ready toward the end of the season. And that way it can be there and ready to go with those additional slots for next season. That's going to be huge. So let's choose the upgrade function here. Now you can see it's also going to cost quite a bit more money per race, but again, it's, that's to be expected and not something that we're going to worry about. So now we're down to $10 million, which should be perfectly fine because you can see our money hasn't really gone anywhere. Um, the only money we're really spending is in part development. Uh, the 604000 per race isn't all that big a deal to us when you're talking about millions of dollars in a budget. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and work through our emails. And again, we're not going to worry a whole lot about this stuff. We do have to take a look at our pit crew because something weird happened to them and they're all gone. But <laughs> we'll come back to that 
Um, here in just a moment, let's answer our one question. Which of the cars has a better drivers? Car one. That's pretty simple. And these guys down here at the bottom should have absolutely no problem with that. Because if they can't figure that out, then we've got bigger problems. All right, let's go ahead and move forward so we can get our car back ready to go. There we go. Car repair is finished. So now we've got 10 more days until our new gearbox uh, is ready to go. Of course, it's not going to be uh, ready to go for this season. This is in preparation. Uh, and again, I keep saying this, but I hated to have to do this with the illegal parts. I really didn't want to do that, but unfortunately, the game really left us no choice. So right now, where we are is we're going to be working on the engine for reliability, and then we've got these other parts just sort of thrown over here, and they're getting better just very, very slowly, almost to the point of not even being worth it, uh, considering the potential that I'm going to lose track of where the staff is allocated. But we're going to work on the engine, and you can see right now we are doing great on the suspension. We're doing great on the gearboxes, at least the ones we can use anyway. And now we're working on the engines. If we get the engines better, then it opens up the opportunity to at least think about using the higher engine modes. And the reason I say it that way is because sometimes it's not a good idea to do that simply because we might want to get that better fuel mileage to run more laps. So it's not a, an always do it type thing. Uh, and then we're going to also get back to working on the brakes. But again, one thing at a time. And at some point, I do want to get some of that additional um, performance out of our, our gearboxes. You can see there's quite a bit of room here for performance. So I do want to get back to that. Okay, looks like we've got a vote coming up. And let's see what we've got. So a new vote has started. Advanced ERS. Wow, okay, that would be, that would be a big one. So this would put us, I believe, at the same level as uh, group a now this is something i'm not really interested in the ers the ers system that would be an additional cost um, and sure it, it can be fun but i'm not interested in messing with that so i'm going to vote against it but i'm only going to do it with a voting power of one so if it passes then i'm not all that uh, worried about it but i do not want it okay good it was rejected looks like really nobody wanted it very much Okay, let's keep moving along. We've got parts to get done. We've got, of course, the scouting that is ongoing, but we're not particularly worried about that. Uh, let's see where we are on our vehicle parts. All right, we're up to 90%. That's good. Uh, let's go back to our... Let's try to get up to 90% on, on the brakes as well. Again, every little bit helps. Okay, here we go with the gearbox. Now we're done there. And so our gearbox is finished. That gets us up to a maximum of 171, which is pretty awesome, quite frankly. But of course, it has that wonderful symbol out next to it. Let me know that it would come at a price if I decide to use that. Okay, so we're almost, almost there. Let's see, what is going to be crucial at this next one? So we're going to have low speed corners, acceleration, and medium speed. So we already know we're good there. All right, let's go ahead and work on the nose. Okay, make sure our staff is allocated. And let's get back into designing some new parts. So the gearbox, we're at 171 and probably... Probably not going to be able to do any extra. We've got the three slots opened up. There's two of them very quickly. Yeah, 171 is perfectly fine. Now, granted, we could use another one, and, and that way the second car would have this part as well. But again, at this point, we're a one-car team for all intents and purposes. For at least the time being, until we're really ready to jump in there and compete. So now let's take a look at perhaps the brakes or the suspension. I'm going to look at the suspension first because our brake performance is really doing pretty good on the top end there. We've got some parts there. So let's see, 120 on the suspension. 
let's see what's available again three slots are available and let's see a plus 30 there's a plus 35 and a plus 30 that is also takes off three days you like that and let's see what else do we have okay so 150 this will get us up to 150 I like that I mean hey we'll take every bit that we can get let's go ahead and build this part it's gonna cost us a, a million bucks all right but we'll take it and again you can see this everything is starting to work its way up and of course we got a lot of work to do uh, in the factory itself actually upgrading these parts from where they're built All right, let's see where we are improving parts. Okay, we're up to 95 there. So we're perfectly good there. Let's go ahead and throw these brakes back on. And that will, it shows they'll be completed one day before the race. So that means 100%. Not that we're particularly worried about 100%. Um, I'll tell you what, never mind. I forgot about this. We haven't done the rear wing yet. So let's go ahead and it says five days after the race, which is perfectly fine. That means we should get up somewhere around 90%, which is what I am shooting for. Okay, it also means it is time to swap these around, but it'll be so nice when we get these extra two slots. That comes in very, very handy. Okay, get these emails out of the way. All right, choosing a vote. Now we're back to this part. Uh, we had this last season, and for a million bucks, we can propose something. I do not want to do that right now. That's not really in our, our best offer. So let's go ahead and reject that. The money is more important to me than, than any particular rules that we could put into effect. All right, we've got our new suspension ready to go. And you can see now we're up to a maximum of 150. So we're getting there. These are the things that we're trying uh, trying to do. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. We also see we're up now to 84% on the rear wings. Okay, and I think that's probably about as far as we're going to get with the suspension. Yeah, I mean, we only have the three slots available, so we really can't do anything but create another one of those uh, suspensions. And we may come back a little bit later on and do that. However, uh, at this point, I don't feel like it's really worth it. Now, it may be worth it for us to get in on the brakes. Let's see. So 242 on the brakes. And we've got the three slots available. Let's see what we've gotten. I'm not interested in anything that is only specific to a certain set of tires or weather conditions. So I'm not interested in that. Let's see, we've got a plus 50 automatically. I love that. Let's see, then we got a 35 and a 25, so we want that. And here we've got plus 25 and plus 15. Yeah, we want that. 292, yes please. All right, so this should be the last set of brakes that we work on. Again, we're only concerned about one car right now. Okay, we're already uh, up the list very nicely in brakes. Of course, with what we're using, we're not doing all that well, but... Okay, let's keep, keep it going here. We're about ready for our next race, but first, before we can do that, we've got to take a look at our pit crew. And this is something that's odd. We saw this in the last video, and I was kind of hoping that this would sort itself out. Maybe it was just a quick glitch or something, but unfortunately, it doesn't appear so. We are in a position where we lost all of our guys. And I really don't want to hire any more because the more I hire, the more of those $200,000... Oh, I don't really don't want to pay that $200,000 per person. But... Unfortunately, the ones we lost were the ones that were good, which this is just horrible. All right, so first of all, let's swap out and, and see what in the world we can get done with at least some of this. All right, let's get our refueling guy back here where refueling is actually important. 
And let's see, tires. Okay, this guy needs to go on tires. Right now he's on the front jack, which I really don't care about. Near as much as they want me to. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure out something to do with that. Uh, but right now we are in terrible shape with this. I hate this. All right, so if I'm going to pick up some folks, who am I going to pick up? All right, I like... I'm going to have to pick up at least a couple because stamina is going to crush us at some point. So we're going to have to spend a little bit of money here to try to get some people. All right, we're rejecting here. Well, I, I don't care how good they are. And same thing here. I'm just going to reject that. All right, anybody else that I want to pick up? Um, I like... Let's go ahead and hire... Okay, now let's let's fit these folks in. So you are going to be swapped out right there. And we'll put swap you out right there. Stamina is going to be an issue, so I may have to do swap these out at some point. Uh, but for right now. Let's do that. Okay, I kind of, I kind of like where we are there. Uh, again, we had to spend a little bit of money to get there, so we'll take it. All right, there we go. So let's get rid of that five on the scouting, and let's get ready for our race. So here we're looking at very low and very low, so that's good. Uh, acceleration is crucial, which it, for our purposes right now, that means that these are the three parts that are going to wear the most. Uh, in, in our case, let's see. How far did we get? Oh, we got to 94%. All right, that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. So everything is pretty good. Around 90. Everything is at 90 or above except for the brakes. Uh, and I think we're good there. I, what I really want to do right now is let's start working on let's start working on these parts all right we're not going to work on this particular gearbox because well it's on car number two so <laughs> what we want to do is work on the gearboxes of the ones that we're looking at for next season and get their performance up maxed out and then we'll go to some of the other parts and pieces as well Okay, I think this is where I want it to be. Let's pour everything into performance for a little while. Let's head back over. We'll choose top five. And auto pick that for me. Let's see. Wow, they're thinking hard tires all the way here. I'm not sure. That's actually a good point. I don't know if that's going to be the way we want to go or not. Because it might very well be. Let's take a quick glance and make sure car number one has the parts we want it to have. And looks like it does. Okay, yeah, we've got what we need there. And it's time to head to the racetrack. All right, it's time for the race. And let's take a quick look at our knowledge bonuses, the same as what we used last time. Uh, unfortunately, practice did not give us a whole lot of time at all. So we only got a level one uh, bonus there on race trim and then we've got our uh, our staff bonuses for the engine expert and the pit stop guru then the setups went very well so that's not going to be an issue unfortunately we've got some drama around which tire to use now there's always drama around which tire to use because you've got you know three options however if we look at the weather you can see right about four bars in, uh, we're gonna have we're gonna start to get some rain. Now we don't know how bad it's gonna be. Is it gonna be enough that we need to to come in? We don't know. So we're gonna do the best we can with that and follow along with that. I'm gonna start off on the medium tires, which best matches up to the amount of fuel we have. This is max fuel, so I'm gonna go with that and 
we're going to use the high engine mode and hopefully be able to use that all race long because that matches up pretty good with the amount of fuel and everything that we'll have on board combined with driver stamina and all that sort of thing. So we're going to give it a shot here and see how the weather goes and see how everything plays out. Right, let's get our camera. Let's see, where are we here? Spin this camera around. Get everything sped up and hopefully being able to tune the engines up a little bit uh, while it burns more fuel that's not really an issue for us right now the issue for us is going to be the condition of the engine and hopefully it will be just fine all right so we're going to keep a close eye on on just how many uh, laps we can get in before this weather gets here and then of course how bad is the weather ultimately? It looks like it's going to necessitate a, a pit stop. It's the way it's looking. But as always, we'll, we'll try to figure that out. Let's go ahead and push a little bit because I do think we're going to have to make, yeah. As this next bar comes in, I definitely see a pit stop in our future. Again, we're not going to really worry about car number two. Yeah, because dry tires are not going to be any good by the time we get to those last two bars, and then we'll see where it goes beyond that. We're overheating the tires because I didn't pay attention. All right, and sure enough, we are getting toward the weather right now, and here it comes. All right, so we're up to 20th. Uh, which is absolutely great. And we're going to try to make it one more lap. We are going to queue up our pit stop. Let's see. Let's pause this thing just for a minute. Um, actually, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a very close deal as to how far we really want to go with this. But I think I want to leave them out there for one more lap. Lap. Let's go ahead and bring in our second car first. Uh, let's go ahead and keep them filled up. And have them come in this time by, and then we'll simply queue up car number one the next time by. Because this first little bit of rain we can endure on... Okay, yes, we're going to be coming in. So don't worry about it. Everybody freaks out. The drivers in this game freak out about everything. And let's see. We'll go... Uh, let's see. I think we're going to be fine on fuel. I think so. Uh, but just to be sure, let's go ahead and... No, I'll tell you what. Just leave it as is. It'll be fine. All right. So not changing driver. We're only changing... Uh, tires and I did hit the right one. Yeah, we need to make sure I didn't use one of the couple that we used during practice or qualifying. So let's get this car out of the way. Hopefully, yeah, there we go. So they're done and out of the way. You can see pit stops starting in mass right now. Over the next lap or so, everything looks good and we're back out and running. All right, so we come back out essentially where we came in. That's good. That means we held our own. We still got some guys that still need to make pit stops, which is a little bit odd because this is definitely not dry, dry tire weather right now. All right, so that moves us up the pack uh, for now. So we're up to 14th. And again, now it's really just about speed. Oh, wow. We are already, we're going to have to go down to conserve because these things are heating up extremely quickly. So let's take a look at our weather and see how, just how long we're going to need these tires on there. Right now, it looks it's looking like we need to plan for a full stint or at least somewhere thereabouts to be on these uh, enters. So we need to take good care of them. All right, so we're getting our tire temps coming back down. Uh, so far, it looks like we're not going to get up into full wets territory. So once again... Let's see, how do we stack up? We're in clear track here. So let's see how we stack up on lap times. Uh, not bad. Not bad at all. 
Let's go ahead and put ourselves back on neutral at least for a minute. Okay, so we're in the 41s. Everybody else around us is not, uh, except for, of course, the leader. So, looking pretty good. So far, so good on the speed. And we'll keep track on that. We're in the 43s now. That could have been with some traffic with the faster cars coming through. Uh, of course, the main thing you can watch is the delta between uh, between second and third here and see if that shrinks uh, and these guys are catching us or if or if we're holding our own or even expanding okay it looks like the tire temps are doing pretty good as we are now they're not really heating back up that's good uh, in fact that might give me a chance to push here in a little bit in fact, let's go ahead and push a little bit and see if we can get these tire temps back up. Because as I look at this, yeah, it's definitely going to be drying out. And hopefully that will coincide quite nicely with... Hopefully that will coincide quite nicely with our pit stop. If it would, then that would be awesome. Would absolutely love for that to be the case. All right, I know car number two over here is running out of stamina quickly, but I'm going to try to get him to hang in there till I, like, I can at least realistically put dry tires on. But everything is lining up pretty good. If you watch the fuel numbers, that seems like that's going to line up pretty good with putting the dry tires back on um, our our speed seems to be good you can see that gap there has definitely not come down uh, we're holding our own quite nicely and in fact uh, the tire temps coming back up some all right car number two i'm trying my best to ignore at this point in fact let's go ahead and get them out of the way Let's go ahead and put the dry tires. Let's go ahead and put the hard tire on. Ah, let's get them a brand new set, even though that one was barely used. Fill them up. All right, let's go with it. Because here shortly, we're gonna wanna come in and put some dry tires on. Okay, can we please focus on the car I wanna focus on? There's absolutely no reason to focus on the car that is in the pits because there's that huge display that will do that for you. All right, I did notice a mistake that was made. All right, it's going to be, it's we're right at that delta um, to swap over onto the tires. All right, hold on here. All right, let's go ahead and, yep, looks like we're going to be able to pit next time by and let's go ahead and put let's go ahead and swap out drivers so we got an hour and of course by the time we actually get to the pits it'll be a little bit more than that so that ended up pretty good that's that is pretty good so let's see as far as we can tell on the weather it's going to be drying out let's go ahead and put uh let's see I'm thinking, yeah, the medium tires are really what lines up with the fuel we have. So let's go medium and then fill it up. What is our park condition looking like? Okay, so far so good. I like that. Okay, I like what we've got. All right, so he said that was a virtual safety car. I'm looking on the track. I don't see the safety car. All right, there we go. So now we are back basically down to the level of, of dry weather tires. If you had them on, you wouldn't take them off just for this amount of rain. So we're going to hope that we can make up some time on the lap time. Let's follow our lap times and see how we do. Of course, these other guys are going to be coming in for pit stops. Um, so we're in the 41s right now, the low 41s. 
watching the tire temps as well. Okay, everybody looks like going on to hard tires. We're down in the low 40s now. And you can see the guys above us, before they came in, were in the 45s and 43s. So we were quite a bit faster than them. Uh, we'll have to see how the speed goes now that we are on the mediums and they're on the hard tires. So far, it's not good. And I say not good because our speed, if we look here, it is just not good. They're in the 40. Okay, so they slowed back down some now. But when they're pushing hard, they are crushing us on lap time. But now it's sort of even out a little bit. Okay, we're ignoring everything that Car 2 tells us at this point because we are doing great. Now, we're not going to worry about losing positions. I mean, again, we don't have the speed to win these races unless something fluke happens with the strategy that we're able to pull a rabbit out of the hat. But we're not worried about that. Top five is what we want. Uh, that's our best case scenario realistically so and I look down here and I see that these guys are 19 and 29 seconds behind us so that's what I want to see all right let's go ahead and push a little bit here keep our tire temps up reasonably well and keep some semblance of speed you can also notice that the leader we've not lost touch with the leader so that is a great thing uh, that's what we want also, notice we're getting into some traffic with the A-Class cars now. But we're right there with the leader. And that is awesome. Uh, I also noticed that these other cars behind us are catching us. So we don't want them to get... Even though we're leading right now, we don't want those guys catching us. And, okay, so we got to slow, slow back down on... How much we're pushing, getting the tires too hot. But hey, we got to take some chances. I mean, it's in the races where we have an opportunity to do well, we got to try everything we can to do well. And right now, we are in the lead and we're going to enjoy it while it lasts. Okay, letting those tires cool back down. Of course, this is hurting. The, the reliability of the tires, no doubt. But we are not worried about that any more than we have to be anyway. Okay, so the guys in the top five uh, are catching us. So let's see how everything's going. Okay, yeah, our speed, our, our lack thereof, is really crushing us right now. They're in the 39s, we're in the 41.5s. Yeah, that that is wow. Just wow. All right, we need that to even out. Of course, these guys, some of them are pushing extremely hard. Uh, but they can do that. They can get by with that uh, more because they have the harder tire on. That's perfectly fine. I'm trying to get a little bit more speed by using the softer of the tire. Okay, now the speed starts to even out a little bit, but yeah, we're just not consistent enough. Our driver's not consistent enough to do what we need to do. We just need speed, speed, and more speed. Okay, the good news for us is we're coming up on an hour remaining, which means that our driver's stamina is coming along good, and we might be able to get by, weather permitting, with one more stop. And if we can do that, that would be great for us. I don't know why they generate this message about fuel levels. We're an, we've got an hour left in the race. Why are you worried about finishing the race on this fuel? Oh, good gracious. Okay. As much as I try to ignore them, sometimes we do actually have to pay some attention to them. Okay. There we go. That'll get them out of the way because shortly we'll be coming in for car number one. Okay. No weather appears to be in the mix at least as far out as we can tell okay stamina getting a little low but that's perfectly fine 
we are definitely okay with that we're trying to stretch this out as far as we can okay let's take a look at our lap times okay not bad see we're faster than they are right now and you can see that flip-flops quite a bit but as long as we can stay roughly where we are all right one more lap there we go as the tires get right down to it all right tire choice we're once again gonna go with the medium tire fill it up and park condition oh yeah these look good these look good we got a few that are looking a little bit ragged but I think we're gonna be fine alright so let's get this pit stop let's no mistakes that's the biggest thing let's just try to compete as best we can without any setbacks of our own doing okay looks good no mistakes and the time says good from the AI perspective so I'll take their word for that alright now the final pit stop should be happening at some point fairly soon for most of these guys looks like wow he, oh okay here we go we got some soft tires up here in front so they will definitely be making another stop and so this guy will probably be perfectly fine this one's probably going to be okay as well to the end of the race but who knows that's that's a little bit worn for this point for the hard tire anyway so we'll have to see how this works out we're in great shape uh, but you can see I mean we're not all that far out of uh, the money and out of the points so we got 42 minutes left remaining and I'm trying to be very conservative with these tires you can see we ran the tire right down to about five percent or so uh, of wear remaining you can run the the mediums and the hard tires down pretty low that was a little bit lower than I wanted but uh, I was trying to get as many laps as I could get okay we're gonna spend as much time on neutral as we can get by with all right, so we got a couple of guys with soft tires around us. I'm not at all worried about them because I know they're coming in for another pit stop. So we're not worried about them at all. What I'm really worried about is sixth position here. I'm looking at the delta between us and them. That's what I care about. And I'm thinking we might even be in good shape with the second place car coming in for another pit stop as well. Boy, that gets on my nerves with it I mean I'm okay with it telling me messages to say so-and-so ran wide or made a mistake or whatever but you don't have to shift the focus on the screen to that car just leave the focus where it is all right there we go we've got we've made a couple of uh, positions here now we're up into third and not all that far out of second quite frankly okay tire temps getting down pretty low again trying to conserve these tires as much as I can to make sure we can make it to the end with them all right let the tire temps come back up some there we go getting back up toward the midline so we'll go back to neutral We've got 20 minutes left 21 minutes and looking really good and I'll admit I'm kind of hoping that position number two comes in for another pit stop because every position we can get is just more padding and of course it's points and the more points we get at the end of the season the more money we get All right, let's go ahead and do a final pit stop for car number one. 
Uh, let's see. Well, we don't really have any soft tires left, so we'll give them medium. Don't really need a whole lot of fuel. Okay. Alright, I am pretty happy with where we are right now. Let's see. Ooh, pit for repairs. There we go. There we go. Boy, that hurts. Boy, I know that feeling. That is huge. So now we are only... Yikes. We are only three seconds out of a potential victory. Okay, you know we're going for this. We are 100% going for this. So let's crank up everything. Condition... Yeah, the engine condition is perfectly fine. We got plenty of fuel. Let's go try to get this victory. We're a second out. All right, I can't push with the tires right now. I need to let them cool down a little bit. Oh, we're right there. We are right there. All right, I don't care about the worn tires. I don't care about any of that stuff. We have a chance for a victory and we're going for it. All right, let's try to push a little bit here if we can get by with it. I don't want to toast the tires too badly, but we're right there. We are right there. Oh, we did it, we did it, we did it. We're in the lead. All right, I'm gonna try to back off a little bit. I don't want to get those tires overheated. Oh, are we gonna be able to pull this off? We've got plenty of fuel and time is running down. Our lead is stable at about four seconds and growing. All right, where is the leader of the race? Where is the A car? Oh, yeah. We did it. Holy cow. Now, that I never would have dreamed of. Boy. That is a shock. And we will definitely, definitely take that. A wonderful victory. Uh, we were on par with all of the leaders as far as pit stops. Wow. That is what I'm talking about. All right, scrutineering, not an issue for us. Uh, what was this? We had a penalty? I don't remember getting a penalty. I don't remember that at all. Now, it doesn't appear... I must have missed it during the race. I don't know how that happened. We still get... Look at all those points. But yeah, I don't remember getting a penalty at all. But the main thing, forget about the penalty. As long as it didn't affect our finishing position, which it did not. We end up with our first victory in this playthrough. And eight points, that is huge for us. Huge. I mean, you can see, that's the equivalent of two podiums. Okay, so top fives are what we're looking for to try to get some sort of points this season. As many as we can get, obviously, while still building for the future. But we will take that eight points all day long. That is amazing. So there's our eight points. You can see we're still four out right here but we are we're very happy with that let's just put it that way we are extremely happy with that we will take that first victory we'll take the that trip to the podium anytime we can get it oh we got a dry a new driver trait let's see what that's going to be i think it's just going to be the race winning trait um, unfortunately, we won a race and only got 1.67 added to our marketability. All right, what is that trait? Home race winner. Oh, okay. So a huge boost in morale for winning a race at home. I personally have no idea how their morale could be so high. I mean, <laughs> my goodness. All right, and... and Probably most importantly, for long-term purposes, we only lost 391000 I mean, that is monstrous. 
that we because that enables us to continue working on the HQ, continue working on the car, and so on. Yeah, this is huge. Every race that passes and we lose very little money, that is huge for us long term. So now, as we stand and where we are entering this, uh, excuse me, ending this video, we still have 7.7 .7 million. And again, you can see that as of the end of the season, we're not going to be losing a whole lot more than that uh, because we are marching through these races. We'll come back next time and it looks like we'll be headed to Rio for event number six out of nine on the calendar. So thank you very much for joining me in our first win in this playthrough and stay tuned for more of our Let's Play series of Motorsport Manager.